in this uh, video we are going to see the uh, important uh, lesson conservation of plants and animals without any delay let's get started chapter 7 conservation yes. of plants and we animals saw that in class 7 that pahili and buju had visited the forest along with the professor Ahmed and Tibbo. They were eager to share their experiences with their classmates. Other children in the classes were also eager to share uh, uh, their experiences with the other children in the class were also eager to share their experiences as awesome of they had visited Bharatpur century. Some others had Heard about Kaziranga National Park, Lakoho Wildlife Sanctuary, Great Nicobar Biosphere Reserve, and Tiger Reserve, etc. Deforestation and its causes. A great variety of plants and animals exist on Earth. They are essential for the well being and survival of mankind. Today, a major threat to survival of these organisms is deforestation. We know that deforestation means clearing of forest and using the land for other purposes. Trees in the forest are cut out for some of the purposes mentioned below. Procuring land for cultivation, building houses and factories, making furniture or using wood as fuel. Uh, uh, some natural causes of deforestation are forest fires and severe droughts. Con consequences of deforestation. Pahili and Bujo recalled the consequences of deforestation. They remembered that the deforestation increases the temperature and pollution level on the earth. It increases the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Groundwater level also gets lowered. They know that deforestation dis disturbs the balance in nature. They were told by Professor Ahmed that if cutting of trees continues, rainfall and fertility of soil will decrease. Moreover, there will be increased chances of natural calamities such as floods and droughts. Recall that plants need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Fewer trees would mean that less carbon dioxide will be used up resulting in increased amount in the atmosphere. This will lead to global warming as carbon dioxide traps the heat rays reflected by the earth. Uh, the increase in temperature of the earth disturbs the water cycle and may reduce rainfall. This could cause droughts. Deforestation is the major cause which leads to the change in soil properties. Physical properties of soil get affected by plantation and vegetation. Recall from class 7 how trees prevent soil erosion. Fewer trees result in more soil erosion. Removal of the top layer of soil exposes the lower, hard and rocky layers. This soil has less humus and is less fertile. Gradually, the fertile land gets converted into deserts. It is called desertification. Deforestation also leads to the decrease in the water holding capacity of the soil. The movement of water from the soil surface into ground infiltration rate is reduced. So, there are floods. The other properties of the soil like nutrient, content, texture, etc. are also changed because of deforestation. We have, we have studied in class 7 that we may get products from forest. At least these products will be face shortage of these products if we continue cutting trees, conservation of forest and wildlife. Having become aware of the effects of deforestation, Pagni and Buju are worried. They to go to Professor Ahmed and ask him, how forest and wildlife can be saved? Uh, biosphere 
Biosphere is a part of the earth in which living organisms exist on or which support life. Biological diversity or biodiversity refers to the variety of organisms existing on earth, their interrelationships and their relationships with their environment. Professor Ahmed organizes a visit to, uh, to a biosphere reserve for Bali, Buju, and their classmates. He selects a place named Pachmari Biosphere Reserve. He uh, knows that the plants and animals found here are similar to those of the upper Himalayan peaks to the, and to those belonging to the lower western guards. Professor Ahmed believes that the biodiversity found here is unique. He requests Madhavi Ji for a forest employee to guide the mm, children inside the biosphere reserve. He explains that preserving areas of such biological importance make them a part of our nat- national heritage. Madhavji explains to the children the pa- that part, apart from our personal effects and efforts of the society, government agencies also take care of the forest and the animals. The government lays down rules, methods and polit- policies to protect and conserve them. Wildlife sanctuaries, national parks, biosphere reserves, etc. are protected areas for conservation of plants and animals present in that area. To protect our flora and fauna, and their habitats protected areas called wildlife sanctuaries, national parks and biosphere reserves have been earmarked. Plantation, cultivation, grassing, felling trees, hunting and poaching are forbidden here. Wildlife sanctuaries, areas where animals are protected from any disturbance to them and their habitat. National park areas reserved for wildlife where they can freely use the habitats and natural resources, biosphere reserve, large areas of protected land for conservation of wildlife, plant and animal resources and traditional life of tribals living in that area. Biosphere Reserve Children along with Professor Ahmed and Madhavji Enter the biosphere reserve area. Madhavji explains that biosphere reserves are the area meant for conservation of biodiversity. As you are aware of that, biodiversity is a variety of plants, animals, and microorganisms generally found in an area. The biosphere reserves helps to maintain the biodiversity and the culture of that area. The biosphere reserve may also contain other protected areas in it. The Pachmari Biosphere Reserve consists of one national park named Satpura and two wildlife sanctuary named Bori and Pachmari. Uh, flora and Fauna As the children walk around the Biosphere Reserve, they appreciate the green wealth of the forest. They are very happy to see it, uh, happy to see tall trees and animals inside the forest. Suddenly, Pehli finds a rabbit and wants to catch it. She starts running after it. Professor Ahmed stops her. She, he explains that animals are comfortable and happy in their own habitat. We should not disturb them. Madhavji explains that some animals and plants typically belong to a particular area. The plants and animals found in that particular area are termed flora and fauna respectively of that area. Uh, Salt, teak, mango, jamun, silver ferns, uh, arjun, etc. are the flora and chinkara, blue bull, barking deer, cheetah, leopard, wild dog, wolf, etc. are examples of flora in the biosphere reserve. Endemic species. Endemic species. Soon the group widely enters the deep forest. Children are surprised to see a f- uh, uh, see a very big squirrel. This squirrel has a fluffy tail. They are very curious to know about it. Madhavji tells them that this is known as the giant squirrel and is endemic to this areas. area. Endemic species are those species of plants and animals which are found exclusively in a particular area. 
they are not naturally found anywhere else. A particular type of animals or plant may be endemic to a zone, or a state, or a country. Maruji shows sal and wild mango as two examples for endemic flora of the Pachmari Biosphere Reserve. By some Indian giant squirrel and flying squirrel are endemic fauna of this area. Professor Ahmed explained that the destruction of their habitat, increasing population, and the introduction of new species may affect the natural habitat of endemic species and endanger their existence. Species species is a group of population which is which are capable of interbreeding. This means that the members of a species can reproduce fertile offspring only with the members of their one species and not with the members of other species. Members of the species have common characteristics. Wildlife century soon Pahli sees a broad uh, sees a broad with Pachmari Why uh, soon Soon, Pahli sees a board with Soon, Pahli sees a board with Pachmari Soon, Pahli sees a board with Pachmari Pachmari Wildlife Sanctuary with Wildlife Sanctuary Soon, Pahli sees a board with Pachmari Wildlife Sanctuary written on it Professor Ahmed explains that the killing to uh, po- killing poaching are capturing animals in general is restrict, strictly forbidden and punishable by law in all such places. Wildlife sanctuaries like reserves, uh, like reserve forests, provide protection and suitable living conditions to wild animals. He also tells them that people living in wildlife sanctuaries are allowed to do certain activities such as gazing by their livestock, collecting medicinal plants, firewood, etc. Some of the threat wild animals like black buck, wild uh, white eyed buck, elephant, golden cat, pink headed dog, gharial, marsh crocodile, python, rhinoceros, etc. are protected and preserved in our wildlife sanctuaries. Indian sanctuaries have unique landscapes, broad level forest, mountain forest and bush lands in deltas of big rivers. It is it is a pity that even protected forests are not safe because people living in their in the neighboring neighborhood encroach upon them and destroy them. Children are reminded of the visit of the zoo. They recall that zoos are also places where animals receive protection. National Park National Park on the roadside, there was another board on which was written Satpura National Park. Children are now eager to go there. Madhavji tells them that these reserves are large and diverse enough to protect whole sets of ecosystems. They preserve flora, fauna, landscape and historic objects of an area. Satpura National Park is the first reserve forest of India. The finest teak is found in this forest. There are more than 100 national parks in India. Rock shelters are also found inside the Satpura National Park. These are evidences of prehistoric human life in the jungles. These give up an idea of the of the life of primitive people rock painting are found in these shelters. A total of 55 rock shelters have been identified in Pachmari Biosphere Reserve. Figures of animals and men f- fighting, hunting, dancing, and physical and playing music musical instruments are de- decipted in these paintings. Many tribals still live in the area. As children move ahead, they see a bra- board with Satpura Tiger Reserve written on it. Madhavji explained this tri- tiger project Tiger was launched by the government to protect the tigers in the country. The objective of this project was to ensure the survival and maintenance of the tiger the, of the tiger population in the country.
tiger is one of the many species which are slowly disappearing from our forest but the sakpura nuts the tiger reserve is unique in the sense that the significant increase in the population of tigers has been seen here once upon a time animals like lions elephants wild buffaloes and bara singa were also found in the satmura national park animal animals whose numbers are diminishing to the level that they might face extinction are known as endangered animals bujo is reminded that a uh, of the dinosaurs which became extinct a long time ago survival of some uh, survival of some animals has become difficult because of the disturbances in their natural habitat professor ahmed tells them that in order to protect plants and animals tree animals strict rules are imposed in all national parks human activities such as grazing poaching hunting capturing of animals and collection of firewood uh, collection of firewood medicinal plants etc are not allowed madhav ji tells pehli that small animals are much more in danger than of becoming extinct than bigger animals at times we kill snakes frogs lizards bats and owls ruthlessly without realizing their importance in the ecosystem by killing them we are harming ourselves they might be small in size but their role in ecosystem cannot be ignored they form part of food chains and food webs about which you learned in class 7 an ecosystem is made of all the plants animals and microorganisms in an area along with the non living components such as climate soil river delta as etc red data book professor ahmed explains about red data book uh, he tells them that red data book is the source of book which keeps a record of all endangered animals and plants red data book is maintained internationally by all organ- organization india also maintains red yeah, data book for for plants and animals found in india party then enters deeper into the forest under the guidance of madhav ji this relax for they sit near tawa reservoir for relax for some time near the river madhav ji tells the children that these reserves are migratory birds these birds have uh, flown here from the other parts of the world migrate migratory birds fly to far away areas every year during a particular time because of climatic changes they fly for laying eggs as well weather in the air natural habitat becomes very cold and inhospitable birds who cover long distances to reach other land are known as migratory birds as pehli learned in class 7 recycling of paper professor ahmed draws attention of the children to other cause of deforestation he tells that it takes 17 full grown trees to make one ton of paper therefore we should say paper professor ahmed also tells that paper can be recycled 5 to 7 times for use if each student says at least one sheet of paper in a day we can save many trees in a year we should say reuse uh, use the paper and recycle it we should save re, reuse and reuse the paper and recycle it by this we not only save trees but also save energy and water needed for manufacturing paper moreover the amount of harmful chemicals used in paper will also be reduced reforestation professor ahmed suggests sa, suggest that the answer to deforestation is reforestation reforestation is restocking of the destroyed forest by planting new trees the planted trees should generally be of the same species which were found in that forest we should we should plant at least as many trees as we cut reforestation can take place naturally also if the deforested area is left undisturbed it reestablishes itself if natural reforestation is there is no role of human beings we have already caused te- 
tremendous damage to our forest if we have retain our green wealth for future generation plantation of more trees is the only option professor ahmed told them that in india we have the forest uh, forest conservation act this act is aimed at preservation and conservation of natural plants forest and meeting the basic needs of the people living in or near the forest after sunrise mother ji he asked the children to start heading back because it is not advisable to stay in the jungle after sunset i'm getting back professor rahmat and the children thank mother ji for guiding them through this exciting experience keywords uh, let us see the keywords biodiversity bio, bio biosphere reserve deforestation desertification ecosystem endangered species endemic species extinct flora of fauna flora migratory birds national park red data book uh, reforestation sanctuary uh, wildlife sanctuary national park and biosphere reserve are names given to the areas meant for conservation and preservation of forest and wildlife and wild animals biodiversity refer to the variety of living organism in specific area plants and animals of a particular area are known as the flora and fauna of that area endemic species are found only in a particular area and endangered species are those which are facing the danger of extinction red data book contains a record of endangered species migration is the phenomenon of movement of a species from its own habitat to some other habitat for a particular time period every year for specific purposes like breeding we should save reuse and recycle paper to save trees energy and water reforestation in the restocking of destroyed forest by planting new trees i think this video will be very very useful for you please like this video uh, share to your friends and subscribe our important in science channel let us meet in the next video